for our feature presentation. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so, I like change of plans. <laughs> <laughs> Cut back to me texting Nikki. Are you busy? She's like, help! I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I sure did, Wing. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what had happened? I don't know what had happened yet. I haven't we, we heard don't know. Longer, so she probably <laughs> fell asleep or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I asked Nikki if she would join me. And lo and behold, well, her and Cassie. And actually, Cassie, if you want to jump in too, here's my master plan. Um, they both got the camera, not, not that camera, this cam camera that I used last time. If you guys weren't here, oh my God, it's an amazing camera. So they both got the camera in the mail today and we want to hook it up. And then once we hook it up, then we're going to show you stuff on it and sell it to you. How about that? So Cassie, if you want to jump on, just raise your hand in the chat and we can all hook these things up together and, you know, let's do that. In one fell swoop. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, I'll jump on and sell aprons. <laughs> so I took all the little pieces out of the box and I've, are you scared? Yeah. I mean, I feel better because you're with me. It's such I'm, a, I'm like, not... well, even I was like, anybody can do this. Anybody. Like, if you know how to okay, plug the sure. then uh, you can do it. That's all okay. you have to do. And you don't even have all the uh, extra little bells and whistles that I do, like, that you would normally have to program everything to. I didn't have to do anything. It just was there. So Sweet. <laughs> Deborah's camera comes soon. So if you guys don't know about it, um, it is a uh, a new webcam that I tried out, and I love it so much that it's awesome. I did through advice of others that maybe I should have an affiliate link for it. Not that you make that much. I think you make like 20 cents per unit. Anyway, um, an affiliate thing. And not just that, like, okay, so Wing also gave me the idea. So you guys come to me a lot with advice on what to get to sell jewelry or to show things or whatever. And instead of answering it repetitively, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create like a kit kind of thing where I have an affiliate link to each piece that I use, including the microphone, the cameras, the lights, you know, you name it. So I started working on that. Um, I think there's like five things on it. If you look in the description, there's a, a little list in there of affiliate links. But um, the, the most recent one that I was uh, talking about was the new camera just because my mind was so blown by it. One of my pet peeves is when you're trying to focus on something. Uh, and you would literally have, like, if you move your hand, God forbid, and it focuses on the background, then you got to wait like six seconds, three to six seconds for it to focus back, if it does, on the item that you're showing. Now it's just like, boop, 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 boop. I mean, literally, it's that quick. So I know. She was showing me, like, after the auction Saturday, she's like, come in this back room. And I'm like, oh yeah. God. It was just like, so. You got to see this. <laughs> <laughs> it was that, like, mind blowing. So. <laughs> And I thought, you know, I'm just going to, you know, because with jewelry, you want to see every little detail. And I thought, I'm just going to upgrade to the next level where they let you do 1080p streaming. I don't think I need to do that with this one. I really don't. Oh, Can you imagine? It would, it, better. it would literally be like, oh, let me try that ring on. <laughs> Here's my finger. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, um, let's say hi to some people and then we can start messing hi, with people. your stuff. Hi, people. Okay, we're done. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh hi Deborah. Hello, hello. Hey Deborah. Yeah. I'm sure I saw a bunch of stuff was arriving today, so everybody should be getting packages for me today. Jenny. Hey Jenny. There she is eating her popcorn. Yes, hey. <laughs> All right. Make sure y'all on sub West. <laughs> like you're like you're even sub to them. <laughs> hey Kelly. Hey Kelly. <laughs> uh, at least she knows what that's for. <laughs> uh Miss Joni. Have you gotten your ring? Have you gotten your ring? Can you bracelet? Have you gotten it? Have you gotten it? Did she get it? She did. Yes. Um what else is here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, that was, around here. So, was that? It was actually 
kind of your fault because I got so deep into your conversation. I was like, oh my gosh, look at the time. No matter <laughs> what time you set your auction for, it always is here way before you know it, way before you're ready. It's like, oh gosh. Yeah, back in my day, tweaking meant something entirely different. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Annie. Annie. I said hi to Tammy, right? Hey, Tammy. So I'm going to admit like a fault. And I don't, I'm not always, you know, the first person to admit my faults, but <laughs> I'm going to admit a fault. So what I had, what had happened was <laughs> those necklaces for, um, to sell. Somehow I got Tammy and Remy's mom mixed up. Don't know how. I definitely know the difference between the two of them. And I accidentally sent Tammy while she was out of town <laughs> the package in her car, thankfully. Um, because Remy emailed me and she goes, Hey, I, I, I didn't get the, the necklace you made me, but I got you know the other stuff. And I was like, I know I packed it, I remember packing it. <laughs> so I figured the only other two people that it could have got mixed up with are the people that also bought my necklace. So I knew it was either Cassie and I knew she would have. Told me like right off the bat yeah we talk frequently um or tammy so i text tammy and i'm like hey did you happen to get my package and then you open it she goes well i got it but i didn't open it and i'm out of town but it's in my car let me go look oh, thank God. so she looked and sure enough there that necklace was so you know i thought i'll just send her a label you know and she can just shoot it off yeah. well, i guess her her printer's broken so uh -oh. that woman she drives all the way to town and uh -oh. i don't know apparently she lives in some area where they don't know how to mail <laughs> and all, all we needed to do for her was print out the label. That's all they needed to do. Nobody would do that for her. So she finally finds the UPS store. They do it. Charge oh her an additional, God. like, eight, almost 10 bucks to do it. Just to, to print, print it out label? and put it in a little mailer. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Wow. Anyway, so, yeah, most expensive. <laughs> that goes right. I kept, but that'll teach me. Yeah, that'll teach me. Yeah, I've done that a few times, too, and it's super stressful because you don't know if somebody honest is going to get it or not, you know? Right. And, well, and I wasn't immediately. It wasn't like, Oh, great. It's gone. Somebody else got it. Cause I believe everybody that I have sold to thus far yeah, would be honest about it. But you know, <laughs> I was hoping it was in a package because I thought if it's not, God forbid it's here, you know, cause I've got boxes and boxes of jewelry and ugh, yeah, nightmare looking for it. So anyway, I appreciate you, Tammy, for taking care of that for me. I'm going to Bill. <laughs> Wings in the chat, winging it. <laughs> hey, Wings. <laughs> no, you heard wrong. Robin didn't twerk, Robin didn't twerk back in the day. <laughs> Bye, Wes. <laughs> And Deborah, when your camera comes, I mean, I know you know some stuff, but if you need any help or have any questions, I don't think you're going to need any help, to be honest with you. It's that simple. Me, however, she knows I'm going to need complete Yeah, Nikki, help. however, we got to make a whole live show about it. <laughs> right, Y'all, so I'm doing my Google AdSense thing. Was that yesterday? Uh, and I'm like, and I'm, filling, I'm filling everything out and I'm on the computer. And then it's like, upload a picture of your ID. And I'm like, how am I supposed to get my driver's license into this computer? And I take, <laughs> I know, I know. I text Robin. She's like, uh, take a picture of it and email it to yourself. I said, why do you have to make everything so simple? She's like, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really the roundabout way to do it. Technically, you could have, there's another way you could have done it. But. Let's, let's just, but yeah, then okay. I really like expect my backpack when I do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. That's what? <laughs> She was celebrating like she just like performed brain surgery, and she like demanded me, that I got her on the back. It, it really feels like it. <laughs> it's anything technical. Susan, how you doing? <clears throat> casual flipper. Oh, it's casual. Do you remember that casual when we used to go every time you? <laughs> A long time ago. Hey, Kenzie. Hey, Kenzie. Hey, Mari. Hey, Mari. 
Have no fear, guys. We are still going to show rings. We're just going to show it in a much nicer picture quality. Yay! That's right. I'm just waiting on John to come in the chat and be like, oh my God. <laughs> like, are you really going to try to do that? Oh, what time does he get home? How much time do we have? I want to get it done before he gets there. So he's at the storage unit, but uh -huh. he's, he takes a, he doesn't, time management is not his strength. It could right. be an hour. It could be 15 minutes, which reminds me, I got to make sure I turn the coffee on. So hold on one second while you say, hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yes, this is Robin's mic and not a light on the back wall. You were there. You, you know, you know. <laughs> Yay, Barry got her package yesterday. Love it. Awesome. Mm hmm mm hmm Tooch man in the house. It is Tooch, right? I never did see if Cassie said yes or not. Maybe the camera needs to make coffee, too. <laughs> Maybe. Cassie, did you want to pop in too? Or no? You got this. Cassie's probably like, it's so simple. Since I rush all day, I'm not rushing when I'm off. <laughs> Baby, look. I've got the new camera and some tape. Don't tell him. And Don't Robin. Tell him. <laughs> now he's going to heckle us the whole time. R Mart instead of Kmart. <laughs> oh, so you got it? You already got it plugged in? I figured you'd already know how to do it. You already had that one plugged in. So all you do is like if you're replacing a camera, really just whoop, and then whoop, and then you're done. <laughs> but you, I mean, honestly, okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Honestly, um, I've never been a true fan of document cameras. They're great and they're very clear if the if the item is just laying there and you're not touching it yeah and, and compared to the way those. webcams were before document cameras yeah they were they were an improvement like we go in steps guys but for right now with the technology where it's at right now i would say the document camera is not best for what we do <laughs> rita i got a camera tape and robin what a <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, I, I do monkey rig most of the things I do, but I, I usually do it right and precise. But she, she got that idea from me because that's that's how I have. Well, I figure we could get it like that and then John can neaten it up, you know, yeah. later. Yeah. Mine's just temporary until I get the little bracket that goes on there. But, yeah, that's gaffer tape like they use in the music industry and stage industry it won't go anywhere so that's i know it's safe i don't know about your tape but it, it should hold for the show <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just i think oh. that electrical <laughs> tape would be good i bet john's got some in his truck yeah well, well electrical tape it will work it does it does loosen up over time but it will work uh, I'm not saying that a lot. <laughs> Rushing causes accidents. True story. All right. Well, let's let's do this. You're like, what do I start? Okay, open box. So I probably should unplug the document camera first. Yeah, go for it. Well. You know what? Just no. Let's open the box and look look in the box. What, what you're you're not gonna want to unplug the document camera, and then like do all the stuff with the camera, and then like oh where did I unplug that from? You literally want to go boop boop so you don't get confused. Okay. See, I'm, I don't. Okay, you need know me to what. you need me to talk slower. Okay, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just asking. I know, you know, I'm, I struggle, but I can see where it 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 plugs in, so that would be easy. Right. But we don't want to forget where it plugs in. So, but we're not plugging this back in again ever. No, we're not. But you you need to know what you're replacing. Oh, oh okay. Got it. Okay. All right. So I have the oh. camera. I yeah. have this cord. Plug that into it. You can unwrap it. Yeah. So now unplug Probably the document, Pam, and plug huh? this in that hole. 
in the back of the document cam, plug the little plug in the back of the doc. I'm not the, I mean, not the doc, the new webcam. Okay. Yeah. See how they're different? <laughs> well, no, I'm saying that because there are computers that have that other end on it. And okay. you know, yeah, peel off this plastic thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice and shiny. Okay. Okay. I did that. Now. Now I have this little black plug. Ignore it. Okay. I have this screw. Ignore it. Huh? Ignore it. Okay. That's everything. Okay. So now take wherever your document camera is plugged into, uh -huh. unplug that and keep staring at it. And then plug <laughs> that one in. Don't blink. Don't blink. Okay. You guys, I used to help people install at Best Buy. So I know what things happen. That's why I'm not trying to make her sound like she's dumb, but I know what happens. Like sometimes I would have to take a picture of everything before I unplugged it all so that everything got put back in its place. Okay, so your other camera has a microphone built into it. So we won't be able to hear you until that gets plugged in. I just unmuted. Can you hear or me that. now? Or that, yes. Okay, okay. So now do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Isn't this exciting, guys? I'm excited. <laughs> it won't fit. It's the same plug. I know. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> it was upside down or something. You hear that? Boom. That means, that means it recognizes it. Now, in StreamYard, uh -huh. you might have to leave and come back, but we're going to try it without it. Okay. Hit settings. Okay. Camera. Okay. Camera again, drop down list, and then click on UHV100M. There it is. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Was it that easy? Yeah. But you're also going to want to go into settings again. Okay. Hang I hit on. audio. Okay. Audio. Oh, wait. Audio. Okay. And then mic. Okay. Drop down list. You're going to want to click on um, UHV again. Okay. Did now that your work? mic's better too. Okay. So your microphone okay. is going to be built into that camera. Okay. Okay, now what? Now you can switch back to your front-facing camera on in StreamYard. Okay. If you don't want to make everybody dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. Yeah, you're. And then okay. take. So my now the only thing to do is to mount okay, it. Okay, so this is going to be it's that's will be way up there. You don't have a. Uh, it doesn't adjust. Yeah, but that um, the light's always way up there. It, and that's going to be weird if it's way down here. No, Ain't it? My, my light's attached. See how I'm, I'm moving this around? The camera yeah. is inside the ring light. Uh, and if you can adjust the arm to go down towards the table. I can, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Then it's right here when I'm in the front. Oh. I mean, I pull, you can pull it down when you're ready to show with that camera, I guess, but. I guess I could turn it off until then, even. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like to just stay. See, I have a smaller it. ring light than that, so it's less, it's less invasive. I just wonder, though. So, if I attach this. Okay, let me switch back and see how that is looking. Yeah, you can yeah, you can switch back and forth to see if Okay. Let, worry about actually, that. See in the middle of the ring light how there's a little um thing where you can screw things into it inside the ring light. Uh this? Uh, yeah, do you have the little arm that was attached to that? I I don't know. I don't think so. Sometimes they, well, you might have to buy it separately, but there is a little um arm that you can attach to that screws into it that also screws into your webcam. So that would just hold it in. You wouldn't have to tape nothing. And you so show you the one side and this. And yep. one... Mm-hmm. And it's like a gooseneck, so it's a, it's flexible. So I need that probably. Okay. Yeah, and then you won't have to tape anything. Okay, hold on. Let me move this document. Here. That's in the way. 
Okay. See how um I have this right there? Look. Oh, okay. So that you right there, you just they have them where it's that, it's got the screws on both ends. So did you order that piece? No, it came with mine. That one's oh. Really Okay, okay, okay. I see. That I guess I had so got one too, but I didn't know what it was, and it's probably gone now. You can you can buy just those little arms. Okay, let me see how this looks. If it was say up there. Okay. Okay. Now. Actually, I like that you have the bigger ring light. I've actually thought about switching mine out because the small one, one wouldn't be bright enough. Right, it's not bright enough for one and for two. Um, the ring shows more because it's such a small ring. Okay, let me try to switch this right quick. I mean, this is it's so it's way oh, high. Well. See, that's why it needs to be in the center of that ring. But, okay, I got to come back. How am I going to get that? You may have to redo that, that arm where it's attached to something else. I don't know. Oh, I think, oh, it's coming off the whole bar. Oh, crap. John, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> See how it has a little thing underneath it? All you do is just tighten that, clamp it to the thing and tighten it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm getting it. Just... You might have to loosen it before you tighten it. That was not dirty, guys. Loosen it on the bottom screw or the yeah. side? The bottom. bottom. Get on there. If you loosen it, it'll slide right on. It's a oh. big C clamp. Not that that means anything to you. <laughs> First time you ever looked at me like that. <laughs> John said he's going fishing. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> I am sweating under this light, y'all. You're okay, princess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's back. But here's what right? I, what is wrong. This is way up here. Yeah. And it's, oh, wait. Yeah, there's lots oh, of little oh, knobby things. There are. I don't know what. Yeah. The there's even a knobby thing, right, where the ring light's attached, where you can flatten out the ring light. The ring. You, you the mean ring. raise it up, like, straight across? You're not even looking at it. The ring, actual ring part. The actual ring part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't know this is going to be a comedy show. Or maybe you did. The ones that know <laughs> right there. It's going to be like five right episodes at it. of the funnies. Right there <laughs> where it attaches the to the black arm. The problem. Yes, yeah, that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay, Let's now go. what do I what, <laughs> what do I do to make it stay here? Tighten Screw it now. <laughs> Whatever you loosen, tighten. It'll be on the playback, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is pretty far down this might be okay yeah that's real far down that's what you want okay okay uh okay okay now you also need to remember that the microphone is in the camera that you're throwing around oh okay <laughs> so anybody wearing earbuds we apologize <laughs> sorry okay so now would be the time 
that I would tape this yes. to something. To, yeah. okay. Kind of. Just, let me move it for a second so I can see. Move your hand. Move your hand. There you go. Oh, I was okay. trying to figure out which hand. You know I'm slow. <laughs> I can't see it from here, but. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. See how I have. I have it just coming through. Oh, you have it. Okay. Open. So yeah. Open. Open it up. <laughs> Please, Elizabeth. Okay. So now it's open. Yeah. And then you just kind of poke it through the hole. So this is what I'm taping. Yes. To this. Oh, yeah. I'm figuring it out. Okay. Are you? Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out about the tape it would be real nice if it'd be real nice if you still had that little uh mount but you don't so we're just doing this until you can get one they have them at walmart okay all right so let me just try to tape it up <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> ah the thing's coming off the bar again better tighten it Tighten down the hutches. Why is it keep coming off? Oh, I just dropped the screw back there. It's but I gotta get on the floor. I'm, you're, you're screwed. I am. Hold on. This whole thing's coming off because the screw is on the floor. Oh. All that progress. <laughs> okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I will probably never find that screw. Y'all don't it's know what's on. You will. Okay. Hold on. Oh my God! There's so much reading stuff. Oh, what just fell on me? Man down! Man down! <laughs> 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 All right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my Nine thousand bags of reselling stuff down there. Let me turn this off. I'm sweating bad. <sighs> okay. Okay, y'all just chit chat while I find this oh, screw. Okay. Chit chat, you all right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you're not, John. This is gold. It's bags and bags of books. Couldn't be something like. <laughs> oh mercy hold on I'm emptying out this crate <laughs> I don't see it <laughs> hold on maybe take your phone with a little flashlighty thingy on it <laughs> hold on I'm holding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> what? She said every time you get something new, there needs to be a show. Okay, hold on. You didn't know you were cleaning house today, did you? <laughs> Man, I did not. Okay, hold on. When we do the battle of pickies, John needs to just sell everything around here. Okay. Hang on. It's a workout show, yes. Oh my gosh, it is. You guys feeling the burn yet? <gasps> I do. <laughs> it's a floor sale. <laughs> what? It's a floor sale. <laughs> I can sell for days from down here. <laughs> Hey, John, there's some stuff you're going to sell next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this came off completely. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, hold on. 
There's part of it. Ow! Jeez. So, FYI, that piece right there, if you attach that first and get it down light, nice and sturdy, then you can pop the arm back in it and you're good to go. But I need that screw, right? I you see it! I found it. it! She sees it! Oh, okay, wait, bye, sweetie. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, it is so dusty down here. Ooh, gross. Oh, mercy. Oh, Jesus, I need to sell some hard goods. Okay. Okay. You got some gas? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, time to cool down now. It's time for the cool. Okay. <laughs> it is. It's so bad. There it is. This, is it. this might be some other screw. <laughs> Never said I am canceling Netflix. <laughs> I know this is free, guys. Oh. Free. <laughs> Hi, Ella. Ella. Hi, Ella. <laughs> you, you missed it, Ella. You could have gotten a ton of ammunition to fire at Nikki next time. You missed it. <laughs> okay, now we need to get off the camera for a minute and reassemble the ring light. Yes. Do you see how the bottom of that magic wand in your arm has a post? Yes. All that does is just slips right in the, the little bracket once you reattach the bracket. Reattach the bracket first. Without this. Without that. Because that's, okay. that's what's throwing you off. <laughs> So if you reattach the bracket, don't drop that screw again. Okay. This looks complete, right? Yeah, that's complete. Okay. Oh, he's... Is it... Oh, no, that's my mom. Dang. What? I was excited. I thought it was John. Oh, okay. You can do no. that. No. No, I will not let you give up now. <laughs> He's probably sitting at the end of the No, show. you are not giving up now. Okay, okay. I just feel like, why does this keep coming off? I screwed it as tight as I can get it. Open it more so that it's so loose going on, right? Oh, wait. Can you go farther? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's all the way. And then tighten it. Okay, hold on. Oh, there's some nice jewelry back there. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Can't wait to see it on the new camera. Oh, I forgot that was back there, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. Okay. Look at my muscle. <laughs> well, this camera's not as good as the new one. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting, I'm just keeping turning it until I can't anymore. Okay, I can't anymore. Okay, oh god. Okay, now what? Attach the. It's okay. tight, huh? Super tight. This, yeah, I think it's not going anywhere this time. Okay, now the arm part really can't do until it's in there so just lift it up and pop it in the hole okay <laughs> try not oh. to hit your head hey okay. Cricket. where have you been christine i know hey, you're you quitting but come on now i usually look better than this sorry okay <laughs> <laughs> you're red we're okay. doing a, a light instructional video <laughs> is that what you call it really <laughs> Okay. okay. Are we good? It swings and all that fun stuff, right? <laughs> I feel like. Okay, where did this go to? One of the one of the connections. Just think, just think joints. Like every time there's a joint, there should be one of those little knobs. Okay. Oh, maybe. It, no, that has one. That has one. I don't see anywhere for it.
It could be the one that makes it um um rotate like yeah, it goes it goes on that bracket that you put on the counter that keeps the arm from doing this. The swing part. You know the Ow. post is in the hole, right? Huh? The post is in the hole, right? Yes. Right where it goes in that hole, there's a nut, there's a hole on the side of that bracket that has that that, that thing screws into. It's not a hundred percent necessary, just so you know. That's to keep it from swinging this way, and you kind of don't want it to. You want it to. Oh my god, I see it. Okay. She gets so excited. I do. I'm like, oh my god, I found it. Okay. Okay, that's done. Okay. Ow! Ow! God. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> Can you imagine if she had done her halo hair today? Man, that it would look like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we're back to where we were about fifteen minutes ago. No, we're more secure. Sometimes you got to tear something down completely. That's true. Because that I don't think it's going to come off again. Right. Okay. So now, now you can just kind of grab that thing by the neck and pull it straight down just to see how low it goes. I want to see. This? Yeah. Grab it by the neck. No, that's the head. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, just pull. Oh, it goes way. Yeah. Okay, so now I need to tighten this thing. Screwy. Okay. Colin. Never mind. <laughs> hey, have you started your math homework? Are you kidding? Okay. He's watching the show. I just real I know. I just realized what time it is. He no, he don't care. I'm like this all the time. John's usually like, please yeah. just don't. I got it. Please, please don't. I got this. <laughs> okay, that's tight. I'm going to make Why that. Why you release it as a podcast? Because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we're, this is going to be so easy. She should have known, y'all, is all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm having fun. Okay. I think I just dusted with that and then wipe my face that was real sanitary well you're okay. breathing it anyway so what's the difference ah <sighs> okay all right so now let me get these cords out of the way i don't need these directions ever right okay there's i read mine and i after i already installed it but as long as you nothing in there that you need to know okay all right let me get these cords gone Move my little monkey. Now, also, not for you because we're not going to worry about you about that because that it gets, unless you know computers really well, this won't really pertain to you. But there is software that you can download. I think you have to pay for it that can control that um, camera better, actually, and make it do zooming things and all kinds of stuff. But I don't. We don't I don't, need all that, right? I don't even use that. So. Okay, so now I got the camera here. I'm going to sit it up here, and we're going to take a little looky see. We're going to take a little looky see. Okay. Quick talk, guys. Look, you see. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it is so hot in here. It's 79 degrees in yeah. the house. Kill me now. This... Kill me now, please. I need to be in like no more than like 68, 69. <sighs> well, it's set on 74, but. No way. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So let me grab a little piece of ring. Ah. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow, colors, guys. Colors. Isn't that something? Look at that bad boy. That is a huge difference. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I just need to kind of tape this on here temporary until John can fix it more better. Yeah. Fix it more better. Yes. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> You just can't okay. hide it. <laughs> oh, okay. That was, I think this piece of tape I got was way too small, but. Okay, let me switch it back so it's not all shaking around like crazy. Okay. I know. Can you believe that? How great that is? Yeah. Okay. 
And I think she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think just a few more pieces of tape. Comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the best comedy is unplanned. Look, can I get a round of applause, everybody? <laughs> Hold on. Robin is a saint to have just. <laughs> you want to taste because oh, something just fell again. Hope. And important because I'm not going back down there. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. Thank goodness. you, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna have to sell first. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play with yours for a minute. Oh, that sounded bad. Oh, I cannot believe the difference in this camera. It is mind blowing. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm still struggling a little bit with lighting, and that's always going to be a thing. That's why I turned the overhead on tonight. I'm hoping it helps. Yeah. <clears throat> but my little ring light over here is just too small. It needs to be brighter. So this, that we don't need this? Just put it in the drawer? Oh, that's right? if your computer doesn't have an... Op Actually, if you were, like, streaming in 4K, which nobody's doing yet, by the way, you would need that. But uh, yeah, don't lose it, because, you know, technology okay. as it is okay. moves fast. Okay. Okay. Gosh, I cannot believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. Look at this. And Nikki, put the camera in the box and set it up again. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at the detail in her, in like her, the ring she has on. And you guys watch her almost every day. You can see a difference. Oh my God. Is it's that what color that ring is? Why am I going weird ways? You're going to have to get used to that. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I'm going to drive y'all crazy till I get used to it. But look See, I, at I it. straddle mine. Mine is literally, I, I move, I pivot, pivot my chair this way. And then I show around it. I give it a hug and show around it. I don't or understand. You have yours coming down. And you can actually go on your settings and flip your cam so that it's facing a different way but i mean you can play with that what yeah you can go in the settings and make it to where your camera flips the other way but you don't need to you'll get used to it you'll get used to it i promise okay let's look at that picture look at, look at that sparkle gosh that is nuts you just mind blown right now i am i can't believe how different it is yeah, that's crazy. It's just like, I mean, night and day. Yeah. Wow. Wait. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> hey, Kristen. You, you, you might want to play that back. Play it back <laughs> in this mode. I think you'll laugh even more. <laughs> Look at that color. Look at the cut of the yeah. stone, the facets. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. So, again, guys, the link is in my description if you're impressed with the camera. It's, they don't have many left. But you can kind of look, you know, when they run out of them, you can kind of look at the specs of that one. And I'll, I'll post a new one that, that's got the same specs. And it'll give you an idea of what you're looking for. Yeah, see, because I, I was thinking about it. But the other night when everybody was buying them and they're like, oh, this many left, this many left. I'm like, oh, God, let me go now. <laughs> yeah. But I, there's a couple um, that I have already found that are exact same specs that look the same, just a different brand. So, look at that. Man, this is crazy. Look at even your thumb ring. Like, I, I don't know if I ever knew those were daisies. The daisies, right? <laughs> I just got to get used to this because I guess I'm used to it being different. And, yeah, if I flip this, flip this how can I do, is that easy to do? Flip what? Flip, you said I could do this. There's something this. you can do to the camera. Like, um, let me see. Nah, I'll just get used to it, I guess. 
This oh, thing. that's a good idea, Carolyn. <laughs> Put a dot on my table to the middle. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, okay, yeah, see, I have a separate monitor that shows me, even when my camera's off on StreamYard, I still see my camera, but you don't have that, so. Okay, hold on, let me make a dot. That's a great idea, actually. Okay. I feel so uncoordinated. It's just muscle memory. You'll, remember, you'll get it. Okay. Just go straight down and touch the ring to the table. There you go. Right okay. there-ish. Okay, I can kind of see that. Except I got off of it. <laughs> that have to be perfect, but yeah, that looks good. Wow. Oh my gosh! That is crazy! Mm -hmm. Whew! Man. I can't wait to see Cassie's too, because she had that real... Oh my God! Look, see that how it actually shows Mother of Pearl. That's one thing that is hard to show on camera. Yeah, because it never shows. quite. See how pop how it pops into focus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I lost my dot. <laughs> Let's see. Even though she's got that lid on the the the, the her. Yeah, it's not focusing on that instead, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Because before Mother of Pearl was just like psh, you couldn't even see it. Yeah, really. You could. We always say that every time we would show it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe Ooh. you have a cute little uh, small sticker you can put there for the dot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, my board has got. Is, this has gotten a little cruddy. I need do need to change it out. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't worried about the dot so much. Yeah, the new cameras definitely show every little. Yeah, and I've been like for a week saying I gotta change that out. Yeah. Oh, look at this ring, Robin. Hold on, dot. <laughs> oh, all right. Is that, How what? much is that? Um, I, I don't stopped know. looking at my ring. I was gonna ask you how much it is. Hold on. Oh well, if you're asking me, I'll buy it. <laughs> I was gonna ask you or Julie. <laughs> Okay, oh hold my on. God, that's awesome. Isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm not doing good with the dot, but yeah, that is so cool. No, just look at your screen. I mean, I know, but it's my brain isn't. Wow. Where the heck did you get that? I'm so jealous. Well, the problem is that I really don't know, but I was like, I had to have it. I obviously because i mean i've never even seen anything like that now i will say one thing that i noticed with the camera is you do have to use your loop um when you really want to get like super close to it okay um it's not like my old camera like, like i could literally um i could literally hold like stuff right up to it and it eventually like watch it'll make a liar out of me yeah, it's not focusing. Um, it would eventually focus, but this new one, like, yeah, it only, like, think about there is as close as it lets you. But really, why would you need to be any closer than that? Yeah, I don't think you do. I don't. That's close enough. Yeah. That's all right. Which oh, is nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a just, it's a small size, though. It's, like, real small, like, real, well... <laughs> No, it's maybe a seven. Um, man. Oh, man. Thank you so much for helping me do that. I can't believe that we did it. I can. Well, I had my doubts. <laughs> I never had one. I believe in you. It's It was the, the me side that I was worried about. <laughs> And I also put a, um, I think I put it, if I haven't put it yet, I'm going to. I put a USB hub 
so that if you have don't have a lot of ports on your computer, you can get one of these bad boys. Yeah, those are nice. I have that. This actually. one's neat because it actually has... Another thing I always suggest to people, too, is to have two monitors. That way you can move stuff around and you're not constantly having to move tabs. I have three monitors. I don't, you guys don't need all that. But if you have, like, two monitors, you can literally slide your windows around so that you can see everything all at once. And so that you're not having to go from tab to tab to tab. You can have your, your chat in one screen and your... Do you have one whole screen as your chat? It's not, like, on the side? Because, like, I see me... And center. <laughs> see, the chat's over there. Oh! Oh, that's neat. And I have StreamYard in the middle. And then I have this one for just whatever. Now, when I show, I move all that over to this screen so I can see what I'm showing. I eventually <laughs> want to put a monitor up there somehow so I can just look straight ahead of me. Cool. All the stuffs, my my turtles and stuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Your little oh, turtle face. farm. <laughs> oh Lord! You guys are getting a behind the scenes look. Oh, that was I was I'm just so like ah. I know technology is fun if you're not scared of it. Yeah, right. Doesn't she look like a radio DJ with all that equipment? Let me move this tape because it's hang on. I gotta go move it. It's sitting on me and it's not. Oh now John pulls in the driveway. No, I wanted you to do it on your own. You needed to do it on your own. I know. I am proud of myself. Mostly of you, but a little of myself. <laughs> well, I mean you didn't cry, so that was good. <laughs> I don't think she's watching, but thank you, Kim. This thing is cool. This is a like a handmade turtle, and it's a pin cushion. And when I when I make my necklaces and stuff, I'm always losing the needle. So this is like perfect. Isn't it cute? That was adorable. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. What are we doing? You guys ready? To, oh, let me move some stuff over so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, that's there. <laughs> She's got a turtle or two. Oh, just a couple. I don't even have them all out. Not even close. I have a whole box of them in my closet. <laughs> you need a bigger desk for all your turtles. Oh, God. Okay, now I can see everything. Okay. You want to play with yours with your camera off for a while, and then I'll show a couple? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll start with a ring. Actually, you know what? I have this really cool bracelet. I have not looked up. Oh, it just says, um, oh, there is a maker's mark. 925 DGS Turkey. I think this is awesome. I actually considered keeping it for myself. It's a very large link. It's all sterling. And then oh, they wow. have the clasp there, which I love how they did that. Started it right onto that. Ah. Sorry, guys. I'll get to it. So, yeah, that goes on there like that. There we go. I think it's beautiful. It's just like a, just a very large linked bracelet. Very cool. I've never seen. I don't think I've I haven't seen either. It. I thought it was. Like, I don't, I don't have big of links. Yeah, I don't normally buy bracelets to sell unless they're special. And this one to me just looks special. The link on this one is it says eight, but I'm telling you right now with. With it being such large lengths, when you wear it, it's more like a six and a half, seven. The opening is so because I wear a seven and a half and it just barely fits me, guys. Yeah, let's say it's like a seven, a seven and a seven, yeah, seven, which is average. All sterling, 
Um, oh, not, thank you, not, Sandy. Hey, Michelle. It's not super heavy. Like, it's not, like, dead weight, but... It weighs about seven and a half grams, which is actually pretty light for a bracelet. But I was going to ask, uh, starting bid, 25 for this. I was able to comp it. That's right. I did look this one up. So that's, honestly, that's about half of what you find it for online. Nice. It's in really good condition, too. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like when you hold stuff up super close, it doesn't do great with that, but so you have to use the loop. Got it. Got to use the loop, which I also have in my list of things to get. See, I think I'm going to have to get used to the camera before I even attempt that. I saw yeah. the turkey. There we go. Oh, there it is. 925 something turkey. Uh, You said 25? What'd you say? Yeah. 25 start. Start. There you go. DGS. 25 start. Oh, thanks, Wes. Beautiful bracelet. And you could, I guess, hang charms from it if you wanted to. That's what I was thinking. Shoot, you could hang a full-on pendant on that thing. <laughs> it's so big. It really is. Hey, Michelle. And Michelle and Michelle. Michelle Thrice. Yeah. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Lexi. Oh, Lexi, we had a lot of smiles. Well, most of us. <laughs> you missed it. Me hooking up the camera with Robin explaining it. Cassie, you watching? I found something you'll like. Oh, Cassie. This is a size eight. Cassie. <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful. Right? So they've got little baguettes in the center, haloing it, and then around the outside. You know what? They're so kind of like a, a champagne color, the ones on the outside rim. Yep, they do. And then they have channel set. Um, Gosh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. But look. It glows. It's a ruby. I, I'm assuming it is. Yeah. I would think so. I believe so. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a I know I haven't set a price yet, I'm thinking. Size 8. They've got all the channel set princess cut in. Like, yeah, every cut you can imagine in this ring. Right? So oh, Baguettes always, I think they always look nice. Yeah, it gives it an extra sparkle. Yeah. Um, I got to start this one at 32. That's a deal. That's so yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's a gorgeous ring. Is eight. Look at all you Leos out there.
Oh, Cassie's like, I had to try. Sold in bakes. Thank you very much. Oh, where's my marker? There we go. So anybody that still has a open um, invoice that buys tonight, I'm going to invoice you tonight. But I ship tomorrow. So if you want your stuff to go out tomorrow, you have to pay it tonight. So keep an eye out for it. One more. Uh, or not one of Let's show something a little different. This is a native piece. I believe it to be um, pond silver. There's no markings in it. Looks very old. It is a size five and a half. And it is turquoise. I did not clean it up. I always leave this type of ring the way it is. So here's your back. No markings. Got your split shank. But it is tested and it is silver. And that is definitely turquoise. I don't know what mine that is. I need to work on that some more. I'm going to start that one at 30 as well. Well, 30. Definitely a smaller ring, but it's the face of it's big, but the, the ring itself is kind of small. Five and a half size, $30 start. And it's old. I know, right, Deborah? I try to get at least normal size. To me, five and a half is really tiny, but I mean, they could knock that shank off of there and do it different, but she just loved it. But yeah, it's small. I'm sure it would be very pretty shiny as well, but I think these older pieces look good with some patina on them. Oh, good, Wes. I don't see any. Are you ready, Nikki, or did you want me to keep going? I uh, do one more. This ring is a size seven. Oh, so pretty. And it is your mystic topaz and an emerald cut. It needs a little more polishing. I did soak it in some Dawn because it was a little dirty. But look at that sparkle. And I didn't even like really. I just soaked it in there for like 30 minutes and then took it out and wiped it off. But it could use a little more polishing. It'll sparkle even more. There's your 925 tested. There's their mark. Right there. 925. And there is a maker's mark in there as well. And I cannot make it out for the life of me. Let me just look one more time. I cannot make that out. I thought about getting one of those microscopes that you can plug into your computer.
Yeah, it's just a shape of some sort, but I have no idea what it is. I'll show it to you, but I think it's just too old to... It's just like a square. Come on, light. Stop reflecting on it. I cannot make that out for the life of me. Oh, no. Either way, um, I'm going to start this one at 25. Which for that stone is really low. They usually start off really high just because they're so dang pretty. Hey, Robin, bye. This is a size, I think I said seven. Yeah, size seven. $30 start. It's emerald cut, but it's also like major faceted on the top and the sides. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Very colorful. I like it because it's flashy, but it's not. It doesn't have like a bunch of like clusters around it. It just is that. There's your side. You got mermaid in at 30. So dang pretty. They're mesmerizing. Very cool. And yeah, this thing definitely shows every little <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> every tiny little crevice. <laughs> That's wild, the difference. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Every color imaginable is in there. I don't know how they do that either because there's like no foil in the back or anything like that. It's just in there. Crazy. Sold, 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 Marshall. Thank Congrats, you. Michelle. That was beautiful. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> right, Michelle? You're like, please, nobody bid. Please, nobody bid. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I've got a ring. This is really cool. This is uh, ammonite and hematite, sterling silver, size 10. Wow. Isn't that cool? Hold on, hold on. That matches my necklace that Cassie sold me. Ooh. Uh, we'll do that for a $28 start. And it's so clear, Nikki! I know, I'm just like staring at it like, oh my gosh. That is crazy. Look, 
I'm in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's super pretty. Size 10, if anybody's interested. There's the bat. There's the 925 mark. Hey, Susie! I went and commented on some of Susie's videos today because I haven't been getting any notifications for her lately. I was like, afraid they unsubbed me for a minute there. Alright, if we don't have any interest in that, we'll pass on that one for now. How about some sterling and lab earrings? I'm going to do these for choice. $18 start. Oh, oh they're upside down. What? Hold on. Y'all are going to have to just bear with me. <laughs> Bearing. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Let's see. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm all crooked and I can't figure out where to go. That's fine. They can see them. Okay. So we have those or these. <laughs> oh, you can't see those. Okay. Those are pretty. Aren't they? I, like, wow. I kind of like them both. I mean, look at you have yeah. so many, so many labs in these and they're articulated. But then these. Are for that dark blue lab though. Yeah. Let's see. We'll just do, I'll put one of each up. So, all sterling and lab. There we go. Anybody, anybody? Watching hoarders. <laughs> I feel you, Robin, on that one. All right, I'm not seeing any interest in those, so we will pass them for now. Are we doing three or two or three? Okay. And my third is let's see. You can do Here's four. I did four. Okay. Here's a Mojave turquoise ring. This is a size. It's just right, falls right in between seven and a quarter and seven and a half, but it's a big one. Look at that. Get over there. I mean, it goes all the, goes all the way to my knuckle. Jeez. <laughs> right? Look at that. So if anybody's interested in that, I uh, would have to start that at... Mm, 
big chunk of turquoise. Is Deborah still here? Timeless Jewel? Oh, Deborah. Deborah. Haven't seen her in a minute, but she might be lurking. So, size seven and a quarter, right between seven and a quarter and seven and a half. There she is. She's here. Hey, is um native JAC, isn't that Ray Jack? I know you know a lot about that stuff. It's a beautiful ring. I thought so. Too. I cannot believe the difference, though, in the picture quality. I know. It's it's like I'm just staring at it. It's amazing. It's amazing. She said, oh, that was yes. She was still here. <laughs> well, cool. We need, we need a second yes. <laughs> or no. I'm going to just tell y'all how, how long that chunk of turquoise is, just in case anybody wants to know. Oh, um, is the uh, native signature JAC, is that Ray Jack? Okay. That's what I'm finding on Google, but I just wanted to see if you knew. If you knew Over you knew. an inch. I'm guessing you mean <laughs> Ella. <laughs> She's always got that stuff. Look, it's like an inch and a quarter almost. Yeah. That's nuts. It's huge. Okay, but I'm going to pass that because I don't see anybody. And my last thing will be, I think this is beautiful. It's a big size, looks like. Let's see, it is a 10. Sterling silver, check this out. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Wow. Get over I've there. I've seen that style. I actually have that style kind of in a ring, but that stone usage is beautiful. I think so, too. And it's very detailed. So, I would say $30 start on this, size 10. Split shank. Open back. That is beautiful. Yeah, I've heard that too with the, about the turtles and that um, owls are actually bad in their in their. Um, oh yeah, I remember uh, Rhonda saying that yeah. before. I was like, "What? Cool." Okay, if we don't have any interest, we will pass that for now. You ready, girl? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to, I have so much new stuff. I'm like, what do I show? What do I show? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do I choose? So, I know you guys aren't huge on earrings sometimes, but I just thought these were special. These are all sterling. And it's not your typical, like, cat's eye. I think it's actually some kind of agate. It is faceted behind, so I don't think that's an actual, like, cat's eye, even though it kind of has that effect. I think it's probably more like a um, blue lace agate or something like that. And they are marked Sorrento 925. They're screwbacks. 
characters so that loops necessary. <laughs> Sorrento Sterling. They make some really nice stuff. I didn't find these actual earrings, but the brand itself is a, a very nice brand. And they're like brand new condition, even though they're vintagey. Those that, are real pretty. I've got some pretty? of the Sorrento earrings listed, and they're really they have that little filigree. Work. It's just they're really pretty. Yeah, they're known for that, that filigree yeah. stuff. Very pretty. I was going to offer these today at a low, low price of $15 to start. Because I got a good deal on them, but they comp really high. I, I just don't know if there's a huge market for earrings like this still. Or I mean, they're still relevant. They're not outdated by any means. They're in like perfect condition, too. I don't think anybody ever wore them, to be honest. I'm trying to show them to you. There we go. So pretty. There are still quite a few people that just never got their ears pierced, so it'd be great. All sterling. They're, they're kind of heavy. I mean, not so much that's going to like weigh your ear down or anything, but certainly not lightweight. No, 15. Yeah, I thought so, Deborah, because I, I found two different ones. That's a steal for sterling earrings. But if they're not your style, they're not your style. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't wear them. They are pretty, though. No, it's 15, Wes. It's hard to show earrings together. <laughs> All right. Go on those. I have this cute little charm. Unfortunately, I don't have a chain for it. I mean, you can put it on any chain. I just thought it was super cute. Little mushrooms on abalone. Now, it's not sterling. It's alpaca from Mexico. Still cute nonetheless. I'm going to start that one at $8. And if it doesn't sell, it's okay. Because I'll just put them right back there in my collection. But I thought it was super cute. And alpaca is like the Monet of Mexico. It just never wears out. Never tarnishes. I love the colors too. Very trippy. It's like you're on mushrooms. <laughs> oh, it's mushrooms. That's so cute. Yeah, I just I saw just, that. I just don't have a chain for it right now. I'm trying to get more chains, but I sold yeah. them at the last auction. I need some, too. I have a lot of pennants, but not a lot of chains. I don't know how old it is, but, you know, the alpaca stuff seems to be, like, mostly from the 60s and 70s. I guess some 80s. 
But considering it's mushrooms, I would probably say probably 60s or 70s. <laughs> cute. Tammy, don't go anywhere. I have a story to tell you. Let's just say we're kind of twinsing right now. Count her down. So a couple weeks ago, if I think it was that long ago, Tammy bought a ring that I really, really, a few rings come across my possession that I feel immediate regret for when I sell them. But the one that I sold her didn't fit me anyway, but I was like, I really want this ring, but I, I went ahead and sold it. And, um, but last night, or not last night, last week, I decided, you know what, I'm going to look to see if I can find another one. And I did, and I paid up for it because I absolutely fell in love with it. Look, Tammy. Oh, we're twinsing. This was a size seven, though. The one I sold you was like a five and a half. So I'm excited. So excited. Mine. <laughs> That's the guy I did the um, WJ, Wilson Jim. Cool, huh? So we're twins in. I can't believe I found one, to be honest. I got lucky the first time. And to find one in my size, too. That's ridiculous. ridiculous I, I just fell in love with that ring the minute I saw it so when I sold it, it was like man let's see thank you Tammy thanks you guys for bidding and I got one more piece that I have not tested yet but I'm going to go ahead and test it right on camera for you and I believe it to be native. I don't know for sure. I would just say based on the subject matter, it probably is. But I can't guarantee it. So this is it. It's a little lamp work bead with a bear claw on it. And then it's got this bail on it, which I don't know if that's silver or not. I don't see any markings on it. So I'm going to go ahead and test her out. <laughs> So, guys, you can pick these um, tests up actually for like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. I can actually, I'll create a link for that too for you. And all you do is just scratch a pretty good scratch like that. You pour your acid on. You want to use 18 karat gold. I know it sounds strange, but you're going to want to use, don't use the silver test. Use 18 karat gold solution. And if it turns blue, like that, see it kind of looks like blue eyeshadow from the 70s? That means it's sterling. So that is a little sterling bail on there. Not that it's a whole lot of sterling, but I like I like it when stuff is, is real. Anyway, a little bear claw. He's really pretty. He's got um, like the brown and butterscotch colors. And then the black claws. And then you can just run your... Either, I would say this would actually look good with like a little black rope chain kind of thing, which I have some of. I can probably find one to put in there, but I want to start this one at six. I think he's neat. That's both sides. It's different. Isn't it cute, Miss Joni? It's not something you see every day, that's for sure. It's this little lamp work bead. 
your silver bail. I thought about making a necklace and using this as a centerpiece, but I just think it's cute. Thought I'd offer it up to you guys first. And I like that it's two sided. It doesn't matter if it gets spun because it is like it fully spins. So as you're wearing it and it gets twisted, you're, it's never going to be on the wrong side. Thank you, Patty. Cute. I really like that bail too. Sold, sold. Thank you, Jennifer. I just pulled a Nikki. How many is that? One, two. <laughs> I wasn't counting, but that was cool. Congrats, Jen. You can go ahead and go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Say, look at how colorful that set is. That's incredible. Right? It looks so nice. Oh, I guess I should turn that on. Okay. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a sterling silver amethyst ring. It's just a large cabochon. This is a size 10. Well, I would say... Yeah, well, you can push it down to a 10. I'm going to, but just dropping it more like a nine and a half. Let's see. Dot. So, big chunk of amethyst. It's quite a bit of silver. It's heavy. Um... I would start that at 28 if anybody's interested. You could use a little polish. It's got a little bit of tarnish there, but super pretty. Big stone. Let's see. Uh oh, you had a big lag. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It's always good to go out occasionally, come back in. Just to make sure. Right? It almost looks black, but it, it is purple. Deep, dark purple. I'm all talking away back here. <laughs> what was the starting bid? Uh, 28. 28. Oh, that's what yeah. size is it? Well, it, it's marked a 10. It'll You can push it down to a 10, but it just falls to about a nine and a half. Yeah, because of the cabbage one. so big. Yeah. That's cool. I don't right. know for that. It's chunky. Chunky. Yeah. 
let's see here. It is it's a big stone. So, you know how, like, when you're kind of known for something and the community likes to send lots of that to you? Yes, like the turtles? Yeah, like the turtles and, you know, bananas and, you know. Um, so, I want to, from now on, and I think I have a right to be known for popcorn because the whole popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. You Cassie do. Cassie sent me a video I have to share with you guys when I come back. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to pass that. This ring is, this is so cool, I think, personally. Y'all might not, <laughs> but I think this is awesome. Sterling silver. Now, this is about a six and a half. Between six and a quarter and six and a half. And it's called Royston Ribbon. Yeah, it sure is. That's gorgeous. Is that not a cool ring? Oh my god, how much is that? I'd have to start this at 40. Okay, we have a new rule, Nikki. What? We gotta start showing each other more of our stuff. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> that is badass. I, I love it. It's it reminds me of Border Opal. I thought about keeping it, but I'm like, eh, it's not really a Nikki ring, but I do think it's super cool. Oh my god. So awesome. Lexi's in. Thank you, Lexi. Yeah, it's a very cool ring. I've I've never seen one like that. It's so earthy, and I'm an earth sign, so maybe that's why I'm just like, ooh, drool. <laughs> I want I want a countertop that looks just like that. With that like would be little awesome. Little streams like that that look like an actual oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So it's about a six and a quarter, right in between a six and a quarter and a six and a half. Yep, just right dead in the middle between six and a quarter and six and a half. Royston Turquoise Ribbon. That is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I I like it. I like it a lot. Nikki and I both like to look for stuff that's very unique when we can. Yeah. You always get excited to see something like that. You know, like, oh, that's different. Yeah, I get very bored very easily with the same old, same old all the time. Mm-hmm. That is so cool. Yeah, it looks like a border opal. Sort of. Same concept. Yeah. Kind of gives me an idea to make my border opal into a ring. I think people would love it. Oh, yeah. Do it. You can do it. I personally can't, but yeah, I can commission Miss Sandy. Right? Yep, that's what Lexi said. Sold, sold, sold to Lexi. Thank you, Lexi. Awesome pick there. Okay. And my third will be let's see here. Hmm. Well, we'll try some sterling turquoise earrings. And the 
at that. Super pretty. And I'll start those at 20 if anybody's interested. articulated y'all <laughs> you get to say that as much as I used to got Michelle in at 20 thank you Michelle And they're not heavy, so, I mean, that's nice, too. They're, they're very light, comfy weight, I think. Didn't actually stick them in my ear, but, you know, I got them in my hand. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Light blue, definitely pop. All right, we can go ahead and sell it. I don't think there's any more interest. Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was my three. Sorry, I'm back here polishing my new ring. <laughs> Loving on it. Okay. All right. So here's that border opal I was telling you about. Oh, it's like cool. a weird shape. I still think that would make, like, a very eccentric, like, ring. Oh, heck yeah. I would probably have her polish it up, though. I don't know if I like the dull. And with it polished and stuff, the, the fire will come through with the opal. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Crazy stuff. All right. First up, we're going to have a little learning moment. I didn't make the little, again, I, I suck. <laughs> I didn't make the little thing. It's time but... to meet your maker. Oh, I am really excited about this one because I have seen this symbol so many times. And every time I'm like, I'm going to commit to memory what that is. Because I see it all the time, especially in native type stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And it drives me batty. Class, does anybody know? Who the maker mark is for the dollar sign it's just a dollar sign i know i know because you told me <laughs> <laughs> i'll let the chat go <laughs> no i took it out miss joni don't be mad at me Anybody, anybody? Waiting for the lag? <laughs> I don't see any answers. Okay, so I see it time and time again. I think the first time I ever saw it was on a, um, it was a fetish necklace, a very beautiful fetish necklace that I found like oh, three, four years ago. And turns out it's a company called S-H-U-B-E. Now, I don't know if that's pronounced Shub or Shuby 
or Shubay. I have no idea how you can pronounce it. Shubay sounds fancier. It does. It's kind of native, right? Shubay. So S-H-U-B-E is the maker. And the mark looks basically just a dollar sign. So if you see that dollar sign with the little copyright symbol, that's who that is. That's it. All right. So this is the ring that I'm showing. It is lapis and pink opal. Set in sterling, and it's a shube. <laughs> it is a size. I didn't do my homework to find out a whole lot about the. Okay, that is shoe. Is it pronounced one, two, or three? Shub, shuby, or shube? <laughs> it's a size seven. And then, like I said, your lapis, which is kind of neat because it's kind of an oval this way instead of this way. A little different. And then your pink opals with it. Let's start this one. I didn't even comp it. I probably should have. Let's just start at 30. Probably a mistake, but oh well. Sandy's in for three. <laughs> it's not happening. Oh, she might have been saying number three is how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is Shube. See, that just sounds right to me. Me too. Yeah. So size seven lapis and pink opal Shube Sterling Ring. You don't see a lot of pink and blue together. It's pretty. Not a tiny ring. It's one of those long ones like takes up half your finger. Knock someone out with that. I'd say this is one that I would give a good cleaning because I think it looks better shiny, this particular particular one. I don't see any interest on that one. And then here is the um, the Ray Jack. It is a size six. Ray Jack native band. Just kind of simple with your markings. This goes all the way around. It's a really wide band, so I'd say if you wear a six, it'd probably be a little snug because it's really wide. Like, I wear a six on my pinky, and this thing is not fitting me. It's not going all the way down. So, I'd say it's more for a five and a half. Yeah, those wide bands fit a little more snugly. Yeah. Try to get the marking here for you. Right there. It's old. I didn't find this exact one online, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. I, I mean, I did see that his rings like are in the upper two hundred dollar range for the ones with stone. So I don't know what his bands go for, but very cool. Looks old. Let's do, let's do 25. This is a really good price for a native piece designer. Does anybody know what the symbolization is on these 
markings, what it means. Not I. <laughs> Sometimes they look like eyelashes, but these are different. Yeah, Ray Jack is uh, native. Look them up. Big designer. And they look like mountains to me. And then that kind of looks like the reflection of the mountain. Like there's a lake. And then mountains. I could be wrong. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and then I feel like these little bumps right there are like trees. I don't know. But there's like, I don't know. I don't know. I could be totally off. That's what I see. Let me know if you're interested. You know where it is. Okay, I'm going to do something crazy. It's too quiet in here. I don't know if this is solid sterling because I never did see Laura to ask her if she knew this pattern. It's marked SI on the inside. It seems very old. I did test it and it was blue, but I don't know if it's just like a really good plating. Now, where they're connected, whoever the artisan was that connected it, the connections they used are not sterling. They just soldered that right in there. The um, class, the lobster claw, is sterling. So I don't know. But I wanted to offer, I, I don't know why I think this looks so good together, but it does. I was going to put this and this together in one lot for starting bid $40. They just look really good together. And it's your spoon bracelet. You could add a charm to this. Oh, is that for the ring, Tammy? Is she lagging? I bet she's lagging. Where'd that go? Is that for this, Tammy? She's lagging. Can you let her know to unlag, Wes? <laughs> yeah, she's lagging. Sell it to her. Steal. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and count it down to her. I didn't see any other interest. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy likes her native. Tammy, did you see this one at the beginning of the show? That's up your alley. Okay. Okay, back to these beautiful things. What I say, 40 for both? Yeah. 
40 for both. Cut your mother a pearl ring. Oh, it for sure is all sterling silver. It's a size. It's a, it's a size seven. And because of the front of it is so big, it kind of hits more to six and a three quarters. But if you spin it around, it goes down to seven. And then the bracelet has your sterling lobster claw closure. I don't know if the if the entire spoon is solid sterling or if it's plated. It definitely looks old. On the inside, it is marked either IS. I think it says IS, actually. So I don't know if that's a brand or if it's saying that it's silver. I have no idea. And then it says AA over there on the left. But you get both. One money. They look good together. I would probably hang a little, do what Laura does and hang a little charm from it or something. I'm around my, I'm around my loud fam right now. <laughs> Good times. I um, did check this with a magnet. I don't think it's sitting here right now, but this part was not magnetic. However, that little piece right inside there is obviously copper. So whoever pieced that together just used copper and solder. They did not use sterling solder either. Don't know why. But there is a good chance that's all sterling. Like I said, it does test sterling, but... With this old silverware, they, they plated it like four times, so it's hard to get it really down inside of it. No interest. No interest. That's three, right? I believe so. I think. I think. It is now. <laughs> I'm Tay. All right. I've got a sterling silver malachite ring, Oop, and it's a big one. Split shank, big chunk of malachite. Mm -hmm. It's a size seven, and I'll do that for a thirty-dollar start. If anybody's interested. It's a big one. It's a big one. That it's big one, she says. It's a big one. <laughs> Very pretty. I'm not, green is not my color, but a lot of people do like malachite, and it's a, it's a quite pricey stone. Yeah. True malachite. It is. Yep, it is big. It goes just up past my knuckle, a little smidge. Almost. Right, Deborah? It really is shockingly high. I feel like that's a great price for that. Have you ever seen Malachite <laughs> Raw? I I can't say that I have. I think it's prettier than when they polish it. 
I have to look at it. You got any? No, I wish. <laughs> it's actually a quite poisonous stone, so I just don't really mess with it. I mean, that in and of itself, unless you like chewed on it, wouldn't be, but right. <laughs> raw form can be dangerous. Yes, I did any. It was just, I believe, over an inch, an inch and a half almost. Let's see. Hang on. If I can get in here. Yeah, about an inch and a quarter. Oh, you're okay. No worries. Okay. Going to pass on the malachite. How about... Oh, uh, that's a seven. Size seven, Laura. If I can figure out where... <laughs> I'll get it. I shall get it one of these days. Let's see here. How's about... Yeah. How about Sterling and Amazonite? That is probably a seven. Yep, it's a seven. Do that. Oh, good night, Lexi. Good night, Lexi. Okay. Size seven, sterling silver, Amazonite. And we'll do that for a $30 start if anybody's interested. Feel so fidgety, like mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it's a seven, Laura. Size seven. Size seven. Hey, Moon Lady. Three. Good night. Oh, did I? Oh, how you can lose your mandrel when you don't even move out of here? I lose that more than anything else. No, like I didn't even get up. Where'd it go? I'm special like that. You are special. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hmm. If you guys missed the beginning of the show, please go back. <laughs> Not right now, but later. When you when you need something to laugh at, just go back. It, it will be the laugh of the day. First hour is just pure comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you if you yourself struggle with technical things, just watch that and you'll immediately feel better about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> If you need a confidence boost. <laughs> if you want to see the perfect example of patience at its finest. Right. Yes. That <laughs> that also. <laughs> oh, my lands. Okay. This is a, a bat roundabout. A nine and a half, nine and three quarters. Spiny oyster. Sterling Silver. All right. I'll do that for dun, 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 $28 start. Ooh. My uterus is highly prolapsed and slowly retreating from the. Con what? I don't know. Is that a lot? Oops. It's I mean, I was, 
Oh, gosh. Let me do the honors. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my lens. <laughs> Tammy. Oh. <laughs> we shall pray. Oh, thank you, Cassie. I was wondering why she kept asking. <laughs> I thought you were just talking. I was like, Nikki, you know we're live, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, Gloria, I require a super chat. If you super chat me with words like that, I'll let it stay. But if you don't super <laughs> chat me, you don't get to talk like that in my chat. <laughs> oh, man. Can can somebody type in that this is a size 10? Oh, my gosh. There's a fly. Have y'all heard me about the fly in this house? And I know who you are because I remember you from like a year ago. So, oh, you know? huh? You know the person? Who it was, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, there's another one. Um, and he's right. He probably does have a uterus. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get both of them? Sandy said there was two. Yeah, there's two. Wow. Hi, Biscuit. <laughs> I'm like, where's Colin? He's in the bathroom. So that that checks out. Okay. If we don't have any interest in that, that was my three. You laughed, but I did a show once where I had a really bad troll and they ended up super chatting me like five times to tell their dirty jokes. Oh my gosh, really? On them, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So this is Chalcedony, sometimes pronounced Chalcedony or Chalcedony. It's actually Chalcedony. I don't know what the white stone is next to it. It's very pretty. It's an actual triangle. Ooh. I'd say judging by the color flashes in it, it's probably CZ, but I don't know for sure. This is a, God, I need a presidium. This is a size, uh, it's a nine. It's a snug nine, but it's a nine. With as thin as the, the, the shank is, or the, yeah. It would definitely fit a nine, very comfortably. It is marked on the inside with just an A. I guess that stands for A. I made this. And then 925. Let's do let's do $20. Starting bid. You don't see a lot of Cal City, that's for sure. It's kind of like a color, would I say? If I had to say it's a color, I would say there's like a very light green to it. It's a pretty stone though. It's not super translucent like most gemstones. They did facet cut it, and then you've got your beautiful. Isn't it pretty? It's just like a very pastel y, light, 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 light green color. Made very well. There's... Not super flashy, but flashy enough to where you definitely see it. It's 
great for fall colors too because it would mix well with your natural tones. Remy loves Cal Sydney. It definitely has a look about it. You can always see it. It's very different from the others. There's that one. Here's something different. I don't, again, I don't have a chain for it. So this is Mark Bo Sterling. I don't know if you've heard of it, but that's a very reputable sterling com company. Um, if you watch Cindy and Roe, you've definitely heard of Bo Sterling because they love it. There's your mark right there. B E A U, Sterling. Congrats, Remy's mom. Did you get her for the ring? Oh, I didn't. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. She got it for 20. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I swear I was staring right at your comment that said, I love that stone, but I didn't see the number above it. That's and so I was cool. sitting here completely zoned out. <laughs> you got it, Remy Tom. And I promised to send it to you this time. <laughs> and there, you know, um, I don't know if you got my package yet, but there was stuff that we hadn't even like talked about. That was still coming to you. So you have a few things in there. You're going to be like, oh, wow, I forgot about that. Some cool stuff. I love kind of forgetting what I bought and then like opening my mail and going, ooh. And I have definitely done that actually with the next ring I'm about to show up for this. I don't remember buying it. All right. So here, here it is what it is. This is a sterling silver. Little deck of little hand of cards. How cute is that? It's got like the little um, enamel kind of. Very cute on the ace right there. That's adorbs. I know. And it's both silver, both sterling too. They're very reputable. What a unique company. little piece. I didn't know that they even made this. Like usually, I've got, yeah, I've got some brooches, but they're just solid. You know, they're just silver. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. It's adorable. Mm -mm. So I wanted to ask fifteen. Start on this one. So cute. If you play cards or know somebody that does. Or just like the way it looks. You can put it on a charm bracelet. This is so cute. See, Cassie knows. It's just so cute. Oh, I need to show your video, Cassie. <laughs> yes, everyone. I want to be known for popcorn. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it at the marathon, but popcorn is like my version of, I mean, and I've heard other people make reference to of like tea or like gossip or when shit's going down, like you just eat your popcorn and watch the show kind of thing. All right. Nobody text me. Wow. Look at the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her new camera. <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, when you first install this camera, you're like, I'm putting everything under it. I have to see this clarity. Right. Crazy. Right. Where are we at? Cassie at 15. Uh, Cassie's at 15. So cute. So cute. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know they made anything like this at all. Get her done. Thank you, Cassie.
Okay. This is the ring to which I made reference. I don't remember buying it. But it is a stunner. This is a size. I don't know what the stone is, guys. I want to say topaz, but I can't be 100% sure. It's a size 7. A very unusual design. Very pretty. Um, again, there is a maker's mark in there. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, let me see if I can see it first. R T. R T. Probably should have looked that up. R T is your maker's mark. 925. What's going on with that? There we go. Nope. Is my camera not even on? Jeez. Here we go, guys. <laughs> R-T. Like my name, R, and then a T. Just the initials. That's pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Very different. That's not the glowy one, is it? It is the glowy one. It's the glowy one, guys. It's the glowy one. So, yeah, it Sweet. turned red. Super red. Don't know why. Very pretty, though. Which tells me it's not glass, though. That's, so that's good. But I don't think Blue Topaz does that, so I don't know what stone this is. It's pretty, though. Let's start this one at 25. Normally, I would ask no less than 34, just because it glows. Size seven, twenty-five dollar start. And that color that it's showing is very true to color. There's the sides. Hey, Swampy. Oh my gosh, you're doing that for 25? I know. What? I know. Lord, and you get after me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I would normally start that more at like 36, 38. Size 7. The marking inside is R. The initial is RT. I don't know who that is. Robin didn't do her homework. And it does this fun stuff. Mama G! Mama G! <laughs> Happy birthday, Mama G! Again? <laughs> Every day, Mama Every day is Mama G's birthday. You I know, know I know. Hey, Kawanda. God, everybody's just now finding us and we're almost going to be done. <laughs> yeah. Where y'all been? Where y'all been? She's pretty. Oh, is Wes in? Yeah, he is knows. That that means? Yeah. We got West at 25, looking for 27, if anybody wants to come in. Work. Oh, you've been at work? It's late, girl. But you got it. Of course, we're working it. <laughs> yeah, we're working right now. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. For this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, like... 
I'm sitting here in my shorts. I don't have shoes on. I just ate a cookie. You know, it's a little Yeah, different. it's a fun job, but it's still, it's still a job. <laughs> now, tomorrow when I'm bubble wrapping and packing everything from today. The yeah, then it really <laughs> becomes be worse. Y'all, that's a beautiful ring. <clears throat> that is gorgeous. John just even asked me. He's like, you don't want that? I'm like, I do, but I, I have so many. Your oh. size, though, Nikki. Hey, Renee. Hey, hey, Renee. So pretty. Mama G at 27. Hey, James. <coughs> Welcome in. Choked on my spit there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> It really is. There's something about it that's just, I don't know why it reminds me of like Princess Diana or something. It's like royalty. It's beautiful. Right. That color to me, it almost looks like a uh, petalite. Yeah. So pretty. Very pretty. Hey, Wes is out. We got Mama G at 27. Do your homework, guys, because there's got to be something. I mean, I just didn't really deep dive into it, but there's got to be something about this color stone that turns red. I don't know what it is, but those minerals are super intriguing. And a lot of times more rare than diamonds. Yeah, probably. She loved blue jewels. Sold the mom G. Thank you, ma'am. Congrats, Mama G. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna show one more real quick. This is another little cutie. Oh my goodness. Now this is a size eight, Cassie. It is a little cute little pink stone ring. Pink is in right now, damn you, Barbie. And it's actually hard to, <laughs> hard to find. Like, if you go to some of the sources that I go to and they get asked, do you have any pink rings? They're like, uh, no, thanks to Barbie. <laughs> right. So they're hard to find. Like, that. that's not going to happen right now. Yeah. Size 8, sterling silver, obviously. I don't know, again, what the stone is. But it's another glower, just like that other pink one I had. Ooh, so cool. Yeah. It glows like it's uranium. It's amazing. It glows that same color that uranium does. Don't know why. Um, let's start this one also at 25. Let's see what happens. She's so cute. Twenty five, Wes. See, this is why I want a presidium. But you said you tested a ring. That was similar that um it was saying like iolite or something like that um i like it well i was i was thinking jadeite let me look <laughs> which we know it's not those <laughs> the things, glowy so. one yeah let me check i can't i already forgot Hold on. yours was purple though right no mine's green and it oh glows green like that's right green. yours looks like chrome diopside but it glows yes exactly uh I think you're right, though. It's warming up, but I think it was, uh, yeah, Eyelight and Jadeite. Which we know it's not that, but no, that just means that it's like testing the same hardness. Yeah. I think, but yeah, no, we know it's not those. Such a cutie.
I guess that's true, Sunny. I mean, it does glow like uranium does, but I just, I just don't think it's that old of a piece. Yeah, I light and jade. And I did some research on it and narrowed it down to two things, but I got to find that piece of paper. <laughs> but it's member C. Yeah. So bizarre. But see, it's not, I don't do good with, because it goes completely reddish pink, but it ain't, I had to do it on the front face camera before, remember? Maybe yeah. my black light's a piece of crud. I mean, I suppose it could be some kind of jade, but it is so crystal clear, though. Usually jadeite has a little bit of milkiness to it. Oh, there it goes. But you can't really see it. But I can see it's red. Pink. Dark pink. See it? Yeah. Isn't that wild? Hang on. How do I? So green? So weird. I know. I got to find my piece of paper. I already forgot what I <laughs> thought yeah. it was. So no interest in the pink green, y'all? Nobody for the pink. Look I know that's so shocking. Hurdy. Hey, Sung Lee, welcome in. Yeah, how you doing, Sung Lee? Welcome in. Do you have more? Uh, are you done? I am. Yeah. Uh, I'll do these last few, and I'll be good. Uh, okay. I just already pulled them out, so I'll just run them real quick, and I won't dally. So we'll do buy it now. You're fine. Size you can 10. dally all you like. <laughs> Size 10 Labradorite Sterling Silver. Do a $24 buy it now. Double Lab. Kind of a unique little setting there. Open back. Do, do, do. Okay, so if anybody wants that size, what did I say? I forgot it. Almost a 10. I'm just going to show these real quick. Like, uh, this is a Labradorite Sterling Snake Ring. This one is a size 9. I'll do that for 20 if anybody wants that. It's a snake in the lab. So if anybody wants that, let me know. I'm just showing these last few quickly. And then I've got a size. Let's see. This is a size six. Labradorite heart ring and sterling silver. I'll do this for 22 buy it now size six is that a chip 
No. Okay. Cool. Like what? Yep. Buy it now. Twenty two on the Lab Heart. If anybody wants it, size so six. Cute. Ain't it cute? You know who would like that? Um, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and also, um, one that sells silver. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> What's her name? She's always in the marathons. Um, that sells silver? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. How disrespectful. Um, Mr. Jim, friend. Brian? No, the girl. The young girl. Sarah? Yes, yeah, Sarah. She bought the pendant that looks just like that from me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Ah. Cool. All right. No takers. I'm done. Done. <laughs> Dunzo, folks. She's done. I'm done though. I gotta get up at 5 30, you know? So I'm like, I'm I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Good to go. Oops. Okay. Wrong camera. Hold on. <laughs> my other camera going. Let's see. Oh, that one. That's one. Boop. There. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> if you're just getting here late, do yourself a favor and go back and watch the first hour. It's not an auction. I got there's, you, Tammy. <laughs> there's a tutorial on how to install a webcam. In a reseller's house. And also how not to install. <laughs> when you're blonde. <laughs> For real. If y'all missed it, you should watch. <laughs> I don't typically like doing the blonde jokes but or whatever, but yeah, that was silly. <laughs> it's okay. It, it was, it was, even I amused my own self. So, yeah. you know. It was, it was comedy. There. I might have I just... to make a little video of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would do well. <laughs> I'm probably going to retitle this this live because I like to keep all my ducks in a row since it wasn't technically the R and R show tonight. I probably am going to retitle the show. So it was the R and N show? <laughs> <laughs> the real picky show. The real picky show. Real picky, y'all. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yes, thank you guys for coming and. Laughing and having fun with us and buying and watching and looking and talking and all that fun stuff. You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Nighty night. Night night. Bye. Love you. What Bye. am I going out on? I don't even know. <laughs> um. So fired. <laughs> huh? Ron is so fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're just going out. How about that? No outro. How about that? All right. I, I don't, Bye. Even, I don't <laughs> even know what to do. Like.